Is Ozempic right for you? Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Omar Alwan. I'm a physician and public health contributor for Forbes.com. I want to answer that question. Ozempic has gotten enormous popularity and coverage in the media because you have celebrities like comedian Amy Schumer who have admitted to using Ozempic. Even Elon Musk has admitted to taking Wegovi, which is a drug that has the same active ingredient as Ozempic to lose weight. So what is it exactly? Well, both of these drugs, Wegovi and Ozempic, have the same active ingredient known as semaglutide. This is a glucagon-like peptide agonist. What that means is that's just a fancy term for a drug that mimics the naturally occurring hormone glucagon in your body. So what that does is, is that that literally stimulates the release of insulin from your pancreas to reduce blood sugar levels. So it decreases blood sugar levels, which is why it's so important for patients that have diabetes. So if you have diabetes, you use this drug to lower your blood sugar levels. Now, as a wanted side effect, it can also allow you to lose weight. And it does that because it delays emptying of food from your stomach. So you feel full for a longer period of time. It also acts on your brain in hunger centers so that it reduces cravings and it reduces your ability to want to eat. So in those ways that it can actually help you lose weight. But is it right for you? I'm going to give you three reasons for why Ozempic is not right for everyone. Number one, it actually has serious side effects. Although it's a safe drug for the most part, it usually only has some mild side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation. Those are side effects that are seen in many drugs. It does have some more serious side effects like inflammation of your pancreas, problems with your gallbladder, problems with blurry vision, and even kidney issues. It can even result and be linked to a form of thyroid cancer. So if you have any of those illnesses or you're predisposed to getting those, you may want to stay away from taking Ozempic. Number two, it should never be used for short-term weight loss. And I think that's an important point because many people are using it for that reason. I know tons of people that are using it to, you know, just lose weight before a wedding or to get a beach body for the summer. That's not appropriate because obesity is a chronic medical disease, just like high blood pressure. You wouldn't take blood pressure medication if you didn't have high blood pressure. The same is true for Ozempic or Wegovy. You wouldn't take these drugs if you didn't have obesity, right? So with that same logic, it doesn't make sense. They're not approved for short-term weight loss. At least Ozempic is not. And the other problem is, is that you often, patients often gain that weight back once they stop using Ozempic. So that's a major issue. And number three, when more and more people take Ozempic, that reduces the amount of drug that's available for the people that need it most. And those are type two diabetics. So more than 96 million Americans have diabetes in America. And 90 to 95% of those people are type 2 diabetics. So the more people that are taking Ozempic, the less the drug is available for people that really need it and need it to live longer. So do your altruistic part. Don't take it if you don't need it. I hope it's clear that Ozempic is not for everyone. Thank you so much for your attention. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.